Thank you for buying a genuine Norisil product. In this video, we'll talk about maintaining your 2200 and 2220 high pressure control valves. Every operating valve is going to experience normal wear and tear, which is why you should inspect the valves about once a year or more frequently if you have harsher applications, such as abrasive conditions or inconsistent or high pressure drops. There are basically three areas to maintain in a Norisil valve, the packing, the diaphragm, and the trim. These can be inspected while the valve is in service by checking for leakage or noise. The packing is easy to check. Just take a look at the vent hole on the side. If it's leaking, it means the packing has been damaged. If you need to replace the packing, remember that it's recommended that you replace the stem too. While you're looking at the vent hole, put your finger over it, then remove it. If you detect gas escaping from the vent hole, you know that your diaphragm needs to be replaced. If your trim is leaking, it will typically make a noise, but you'll want to take the valve apart to check this. Once you've identified a problem that requires disassembly of the valve, you'll want to take a few steps to ensure safe handling. First, isolate the valve from the system. Then, shut off all supply lines to the actuator and release the process pressure for both upstream and downstream. Finally, vent the actuator supply pressure. You can work on the valve while it's in line as long as the line isn't in service and only if the line is isolated from the process by block valves. To take the valve apart, you first want to vent and disconnect the supply pressure from the actuator. Then, you'll want to remove the spring compression. If you have reverse actuator, loosen the lock nut on the actuator spring adjusting screw and turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise until all spring compression is removed from the actuator spring. If you have a direct actuator, loosen the two set screws, remove the spring cover, and turn the adjusting nut counterclockwise until all spring compression is removed from the actuator spring. Next, unscrew the hammer nut from the valve body by striking the lugs with a hammer. Then lift the actuator from the valve body and place it on a stable work surface. Make sure you don't damage the o-ring sealing surfaces when you remove the actuator from the valve body. Also, make sure that you don't bend or damage the stem or trim while disassembling the plug. You can protect them by using a solid block of wood as a backup while removing the pin from the plug. You can use a punch or a 1 8 inch drift pin to drive the pin from the stem and then unscrew the plug. Pull the seat cage from the valve body. Norseal offers a seat cage pulling tool especially for this purpose. Examine the valve plug and seat to make sure there's no damage to the sealing surfaces. You also want to examine the stem for pitting, scratches, or damage in the area adjacent to the packing and o-ring. Replace the stem if it shows signs of wear. Replacement of the stem also requires replacement of the packing. After you've replaced the packing correctly, it's time to reassemble the trim. To do this, you'll need to attach the plug to the stem and insert the seat back into the valve body. Finally, you'll reassemble the valve by reversing the order of disassembly. More information on maintaining your series 2200 control valves is available in our new operations and maintenance manual at www.norseal.com.